morning guys, so Wednesday the 19th of April, uh, again a really busy day yesterday and I don't think we're filming an outro. So today we've got Ross's time attack and pretzel on the dyno, I can't really see it but it's on there, we'll get some footage of that later on. Uh, yesterday we did drivability on Tango, that's all good on the street, ready to go. Ricky came up, got some content with his GTR, um, he's up in the area anyway doing some other stuff with his BMW. And yeah, another busy day, remains in the house, lots to do, so again we'll get as much content as we can. And stay tuned, we'll see you in a bit. So it's a super sunny day in Newcastle here. Um, behind me here we've got a, quite a rare treat. Um, I know and we've been looking for this car for nigh on how many sort of weeks prior to sale? Maybe about five or six weeks. To find 32s, especially the GTRs in this condition, this unmolested, yes it has got some like, modifications which are period correct. Um, obviously they're 50 Brembo's, uh, BMS LM's. It's got a plethora of uh, Nismo parts as well, like arms, coil overs, our tune ones as well. Um, but guys, just have a look at the condition of this car. This thing is next level. Also to note, the GR owners will know how rare these are in this condition. But the engine bay alone speaks for itself. Some nice ERC bits. Yep, one unmolested, uncracked, unlifted dash. But just look at the interior of this, guys. It's absolutely stunning. Original condition as well. Even has the original head unit there. But absolute perfect car, this. So, that's ANS32 there. And we are both on the same page with this car. We both have the same vision. Um, also, Ant has uh, bought some N1 bits for this car uh, using the heritage scheme. Um, so, yeah, it's also got the VL side mirrors to go on. So, once this car is all done and dusted, I think personally this is going to be one of the nicest examples in the UK to date. So, watch right for this car, guys. So, Wednesday night, and it's been one of those weeks, honestly, if I tell you. Everything that goes on, oh, honestly. Chris got pulled by the police. I don't know if you've seen the R8 story for driving around. Um, it's just been manic. It's just been one of those weeks. A couple of cars didn't go to plan, which happens. Um, we've just all been up against it. And um, with race week coming next week as well, uh, we've hired Santa Pod for the day. All the lads have put a shift in this week. Um, so I kind of thank them enough for that. But I haven't been on the vlogs myself personally because I've having to change things around, plan stuff, get parts and make sure everything's right. See you later, Dale. Um, so yeah, it is a manic. It's just about eight o'clock now. Um, gonna do all the boys' job sheets, print them out so we are on top tomorrow morning. And yeah, good night and we'll see you tomorrow. So it's the last few hours before the lads go off to Santa Pod for all the prep. Uh, as you see here, Jürgen's Lambo is now all sorted on the drag setup as well, and behind there's Hamid's. Also, Mamsie's car here is leaving us tomorrow. Beautiful RS6 there in the background, deals prepping it. And also, a lot of people have noticed in the background as well, Tom's R34 is here, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, for a few sort of upgrades, additions, um, which will obviously help it increase the value. Yes, it is already a very expensive car, but we are taking this to the next level, which is awesome. And that's Tom's car there, which is absolutely stunning. Millennium Jade, possibly one of the nicest colours from the Nissan palette as well. This is more of a club sport spec as well with the R35 brakes. Um, probably a stored car as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. So we're just here with Jimmy, who's finalising the cars here. They are getting put into drag trim uh, for alignment as well. So you're going to see on the dyno at the minute. You are also driving this car, Todd? Apparently so. <laughs> so, it'll be an experience for you. So, it'll be an experience, yeah. Harry. So, Jimmy's going to go to the sixes, yeah? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. If you're going to do it, you've got to do it. You've got to do it, you So, yeah, so. so. Also, we have an update on Lewis's RB25 soon as well, which is. Yeah, I do beautiful. actually have some pictures I need to send yeah. him. So, yeah. I, I will get that sorted. Um, bottom end is just about there. Yeah. It's. Um, like we've seen before, it's, it's the, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect, isn't it? 
it needs yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's one of those things you cannot rush, it just needs yeah. to be done and done with, uh, and it will have to be like if you're really nice thing. Patience is key, like I say like it's like a lot of things if you if you rush a job, expect to do it twice. Time is obviously key and obviously oh, that's where the quality is, so yeah, that'll be in the car soon in, in for mapping as well, so let's move on to the workshop and see what that's doing. We also have a few cars leaving. Um this M5 here, E60, which is now sold to Peter. Uh, it's got a few upgrades and SMG pump replacement, which was agreed. Uh, really good investment cars these now, and especially this one here is quite a rare spec from Japan. Colour, a lot of the enthusiasts will know. Uh, we had a lot of interest in, in this car recently, but it's off to a good home down south. So, Peter, enjoy it, mate. So, here with Kyle, the gearbox guru, who's going to quickly explain. What's going on here? Obviously, SMG pump stuff yeah, are quite well known on these, aren't they? So Aye, they're quite common. Yeah. But um, obviously, what's filled here, there's been a, a little bit of dirt on the motor, mm -hmm. which has then caused the light to come on the dash. Yeah. Super, super yeah. common on these cars, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's now getting up, upgraded one and replaced, so many more happy miles in this car. So now we're here with Scotty, who's doing quite extensive sort of releasing parts in this car. Yeah, you can see here. Yes, she has cams and pulleys and tire belt stuff like that. Um, obviously, getting the full water pump, um, a lot of sort of maintenance parts Bal as well. Balance shaft delete as well. Yeah, so it's uh, it's getting a lot of work. But the thing is, like the value of these cars now, especially the six point five, the, the yeah, TMEs, it's well worth doing this sort of preventive maintenance. And uh, also adds the, the the value of the car and also makes it you know reliable as well. So, of course but have a look at these guys. These pulleys are stunning. Wow. Nice bit of kit in it. So as touched base on a few videos back, uh, we have Ant's uh, car here now. We also have uh, a few others which landed. Um, so they're now starting the process to be registered and prepped and uh, ready for collection. But I'm starting to fall in love with this car. Um, it's just so nice. Like a lot of people were seeing the, the posts on this car, the images and all that. It's been a, a well looked after kept R32 GTR with the right modifications, which is key there. And you see there, it's got the BBS LMs and a few sort of like N1 ducts. And like I mentioned before, Ant has got big plans for this car. But watch this space, this is an absolutely stunning R32 GDR. So, we also have Fabio's 156 GTA. These are becoming super collectible as well. Um, and most importantly, you know, it's been a discussion a lot on sort of, you know, forum stuff like that. The price difference between a UK car and a Japanese import car. One, which is the most important thing, is 9 out of 10, the rust-free examples, which is where the value is in these. But these are getting super rare and collectible, so let's have a quick look at this, yeah. It's quite an un unusual black, it's called as well, you just come in a little red and a few other sort of shades, but let's pull it car. Not least is my personal X7 here, which we'll be doing a good video on it. Um, it's got a good backstory of this car. Um, so yeah, so potentially, uh, Ross, I know you're watching, I might be tempted down the line to do a bit of a time attack series of this, budget dependent obviously. Um, so yeah, so I'm currently getting talked into doing that at the minute. But yeah, we'll have a full sort of description, breakdown video of this car because it's got some cool mods, good history, and obviously it's a spirit art at the same time. So that's Thursday. Um, I finally found time to give this one a quick wash, obviously after Japan. So now I'm going to get the lads bait ordered and we'll enjoy the kebab. But we're on Friday. So that is all for today guys. I hope you like the videos we're doing. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, share, comment, good, bad, okay? <laughs>